In today's episode, you will learn how to make IoT based car parking slots monitoring system using Arduino, Node MCU, ESP8266 Wi Fi module, and Blink application. With the help of Node MCU and Blink application, the parking slots can be monitored from anywhere around the world. In this episode, you will also learn how to use the tapes and LED widgets in Blink application. This is the second version of the car parking monitoring system. While in the first version, I designed a computer application in VB.net for monitoring the parking slots. The tutorial link is given in the description if in case you want to watch this tutorial. I personally recommend you should watch this tutorial for the census connections is I'll be using the same connections today. In today's episode, we will only cover number one, components used in this project, number two, modified circuit diagram, number three, blink application designing, number four, Arduino programming, and finally, number five, node MCU programming. Let's get started. The components that we will need for this project are number one, Arduino. Number 2 Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module. Number 3 6 infrared sensors. This is the infrared sensor. This is the transmitter LED and this is the receiver LED. As you can see, the three male headers are clearly labeled with VCC ground and out. And finally, number 4 connection wires. These components can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the circuit diagram which I explained in version 1. I modified this circuit and added only Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module and a power supply. The Node MCU module TX and RX pins are connected with pin number 2 and pin 3 of the Arduino while the VN pin of the Node MCU module is connected with the output of the voltage regulator. This is a regulated 5 volt power supply based on LM7805 voltage regulator. Two 470 microfarad capacitors are connected at the input and output side of the regulator. A 330 ohm resistor is connected in series with a 2.5 volt LED. This is a current limiting resistor while this is a DC female socket. Over here you can connect a 12 volt adapter or battery. But you can also power up the Node MCU module using your laptop USB port. I'll be using two USB cables. One cable will be used for powering up the Arduino and the other USB cable will be used to power up the Node MCU module. First of all open the Blink application click on the new project. Set the project name as Parking. If you want, you can set any other name. Click on the Choose Device and select Node MCU. And make sure you set the connection type to Wi-Fi. Click on the Create button. An authentication token will be sent on your email ID. This is the authentication token. Simply copy and paste it in your programming. Click on the screen and search for the tape widget. Change names to Parking 1 and Parking 2. Now you can see we have two tapes, parking 1 and parking 2. Each parking will have three slots. For the slots, we can use the LED widget. While the desired tape is selected, click on the screen and search for the LED widget.
If I click on the slot 1, you can see I have used the virtual pen V10. Now click on the LED. Set the name is slot 2. Click on the pen and select V11. Follow the same steps for slot 3. I followed the same exact steps for parking 2 and assigned virtual pins to each slot. Our basic application designing is completed. Now let's discuss the programming. In this project, we are using two sketches, one for the Arduino and the other one for the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. So first, let's discuss the Arduino programming. We start with hash include software serial dot h. Hash include means that this is a pre-processor directive and dot h means that this is a header file. So, with the help of this, you can make multiple serial ports. So, let's define a serial port with the name node MCU on pin number 2 and pin number 3 of the Arduino. Software serial node MCU 2, 3. Pin number 2 is the RX and pin number 3 is the TX. Then, I defined pins for the 6 infrared sensors connected with pins 4 to 9. Then, defined six variables of the type string c data is a variable of the type string and it will be used to store the complete message consisting of the sensor's values as you know my friends every arduino and mega program has at least two functions which are the wide setup and wide loop functions wide means that this function is not returning any value and the empty parentheses means that this function is not taking any arguments is the input. Serial.begin9600 activates the serial communication and 9600 is the baud rate. This will be used for the debugging purposes. Node MCU.begin9600 activates the serial communication with node MCU which is connected with pin number 2 and pin number 3 of the Arduino. Pin mode is a function and it takes two arguments is the input. The pin number or pin name and the status which can be input or output. All the senses are set to input. Then starts a while loop function. These are six user defined functions and each function is used to monitor the infrared sensor. These are the calling functions. Each function is executed one by one and check the status of the infrared sensor, whether there is a car in front of the sensor or not. Then we make a complete message consisting of values of all the sensors. These values are separated using the comma as a delimiter. Serial.println_c data. This instruction is used to send the complete message to the serial monitor for the debugging purposes. Node MCU dot print ln C data. This instruction is used to send the complete message to the node MCU module. Then there is a delay of six seconds. And finally we empty the C data variable for the new data. White P1 slot one. Parking one slot one. This is a user defined function. This function has two if conditions. If digital read parking one slot one IR sensor equals equals low. If car is present in front of the sensor, then sensor one equals 255. Store 255 and sensor one. If digital read parking one, Slot 1 IR sensor equals equals high. If no car is present in front of the sensor, 
then sensor 1 equals 0. Store 0 in sensor 1. Similarly, the remaining functions, all the functions are exactly the same. Now, let's discuss the Node MCU programming. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure that you download all the necessary libraries and you install the Node MCU board and you also install a driver for the USB UART. I have a separate video on this, the link is given in the description. This is the authentication number which was sent via email. I simply copied and pasted it over here. This is the name of your Wi-Fi and this is the password. Then define some variables of the type string, corrector and integer. This function sends Arduino's uptime every second to virtual pin 1. In the Abe widget's reading frequency should be set to push. This means that you define how often to send data to blink application. Serial dot begin 9600 activates serial communication while 9600 is the baud rate. These are the six user defined functions which are executed every second, which I will discuss in a minute. If serial dot available equals equal zero, if node MCU module hasn't received any data from the Arduino, then simply keep executing these two functions. If serial dot available greater than zero, if node MCU module has received data, then simply read the serial port and add each character with my string to make a complete message. This condition makes sure that the entire message is received. The entire message which is received is split using the getValue function which is a user defined function. Each sensor value is stored in variables L, M, N, O, P and Q. Then we simply convert these strings to integers and at the end we empty the variable for new data. Since the value 1 is a user defined function and is used to send the value stored in LED1 to the virtual pin 10 using the blink dot virtual write function and similarly the sensor value 2 function is used to send the LED2 value to the virtual pin 11 and so on for the remaining functions. Get value is a user defined function and it takes three arguments as the input, data, separator and the index. This function is used to split the string message using comma as the delimiter. These programs can be downloaded from my blog page. The links are given in the description. I have already uploaded these programs Let's watch this project in action. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.